everyone. We're here at Pitchfork 2011 in Chicago, Illinois. My name is Rat And I'm Miss Mia, and this show is Chicago Go Go! Well, Shika Go Go here back at Pitchfork 2011, and we're here with Chrissy Murderbot and MC Zulu. Oh, you guys are awesome! Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow! I appreciate that. Yeah, you're pretty cool too. Hey, Chrissy, I, I've seen you around Chicago. Are you from here? I grew up in Kansas City, but I, I live here now. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you like being in Chicago? I like it. It's great. Is this a good place to be a murder bot? Is that a good job in Chicago? Are there a lot of... Um, well, you know, that's only a part-time job. My full-time job is I'm a musician. I just do that as a side gig, you know. Oh, and, and you're a musician too? I'm a musician also. Wait, wait, you're not I'm from Chicago, are you? a musician. Well, originally I'm from Panama, but um, I lived in Chicagoland forever. My best friend Thriller's from Panama. His mom makes really good food. I like him already. So, so what kind Tell of food? his mom hook me up. What kind of food do you like to eat? Well, I eat anything, almost, pretty much. Like, uh, what kind of animal are you? I'm, I'm a rat, so I, right. well, I don't genuinely eat, rat. eat everything. You're safe. Yeah, you're safe from I'm him. Safe. You're not going to eat me? Not today. Well, all right, all right. <laughs> but, but so can you tell the kids, what, like, what kind of music do you make on stage? Well, what I do, what we do, is something in the line of the Jamaican sound system tradition, oh. where we have a DJ. And then we have someone who sings over the DJ to kind of augment the music, you know? And do you use this weird robot machine to sing this crazy thing in your hand? This weird robot machine is an extension of my personality. Oh. Whoa! Yes. You and show them. Show okay. Them how okay. Hold, show them how it works. Hold your ears, kids. Here comes. Watch us. Out. Oh. <laughs> he wants to be safe for us. Yeah. He, cares, well, he cares about our hearing. It's so loud, it would blow your mind. Yeah. I use it on the stage, man, to reach the people way in the back. Far you know, away, far away. That's awesome. Hey, can you tell me how you decided to be a DJ? Well, um, I always liked music a lot, you know, and it got, you know, I was listening to a lot of music and buying a lot of music and. There came a point where I had enough music that people would say to me, hey, you should come and play music at our party. And it kind of turned from doing it for fun into doing it for a job. And now that's you are super rich. <laughs> yeah, he's making so the bucks. Awesome. You know what? That's a great message for the kids. So you, you see kids, if you have enough passion or something that's a hobby, you can make a living out of it, right? You can definitely make a living out of it. That's awesome. Hey, can you guys tell the kids in Chicago like some good advice in addition to the advice you just gave? Yeah, what's, what's the positive message you got for our kids? My positive message is anything you really want to do, you can do it. You know, just be consistent. And eventually you'll have your chance. That's awesome. What about you, Chrissy? Exactly. You know, if you do what you love and you just try really hard, Eventually, you know, that you can turn that into, you know, what you do as a grown-up, and it can be really fun. That's awesome. It's all you about following are, your you passions. You guys are my favorite grown-ups.
Oh my Hello. gosh, hi. Hello, my name's Keith. I'm in a band called Off. That's right. Awesome. Hi, who are you? I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. I'm Mario. Hey, Mario. We are hey, so excited. You're in Chicago. Yes, yes you're right. right. You're Mario. <laughs> What? You're from Chicago. I've seen you. Around. I live here in three years. That was awesome, though. It was great. So <laughs> we, we are so honored and excited to have you guys here, and we're so excited you're playing at Pitchfork. So what's it like playing together? And tell us about your band. Oh, it's so much fun because we're all friends, and we play music together, and we go to different places, and we get in a vehicle and go from town to town and play for all sorts of different people. Do you play and for animals, too? We've never played any zoos, but some of the people that come to our shows kind of are like animals. That's cool. Yeah, with, well, with a name like Off, I'm sure you don't get any bugs that come to your shows. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Off also means like, you know, going off, which yeah. we encourage oh, yeah, all yeah, of yeah. our fans to, you know, have a good time and go off. It means off. like, get off my back, like when your parents oh, won't sure. get off your yeah, back. Yeah, when your parents are back, bugging Mom. you about ho homework. Yeah. Sometimes you're yeah. going to say, Get back. off, get off. It means that too. Or where do you get off? I don't want to eat my dinner. Uh, I love dinner. I'm a diabetic. Are I have you? to okay. eat dinner. Yes. Okay. Well, that's great. It's good. It's good for you. And you eat dinner. The trick is is that you eat dinner early because you don't want to eat it before you go to bed. Okay. Yeah, well, that's a good that's tip a good to know. Trick. Hey, so do you have any positive messages for the kids? We'll get one from each of you. You go first. Oh, uh, you can do whatever you want to do, and it's more fun to share. That's nice. Sure, do you cool. want to go next or last? He's got a, he's got a daughter. He should go. Oh, next. okay. <laughs> um, just have fun. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you put your mind to. That's a nice one. How about you? And if you want to do it, do it. Go full force and have it in your heart. And don't hesitate. If you're going to do it, do it. And don't let anybody stop you from doing it. That awesome. is a great Could message. Can I ask you one more question? What was the first show you ever played, like when you were a kid? The first time you were ever on stage, what was it like? The first time I was ever in front of a big group of people, I had to sing Red River Valley in front of 3,000 families. Whoa. And I wet my pants because I was so scared. I was Whoa. seven years old. Have you ever peed on stage since then? Once, but we won't go into that because it wasn't nice. Okay, good, good. Well, we'll see what comes up when you guys play here at Pitchfork. And now we're going to dance to one of your songs in studio on our TV show. Is that cool? Terrific. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, awesome. Ratso. Thank you, guys. You Ratso! Guys the Thank you! Oh, 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 oh. Shows uh, around the country and went to Japan, so it's been fun to see the guys and hang with my friends again. 
You guys, since you guys aren't playing old stuff, you should call yourself the Remember Me Queen. Oh. Uh, we'll change our name. We'll talk yeah, to the guys. That'd be awesome. That'd be hey, awesome. So, have you written new material now that you're together? We have not. Yeah, we, we talk about it. No one's. I mean, we're being open-minded, but no one's. Uh, you know, there's no talk of the new record, but yeah, when we get together, we play and you know, jam for a little bit. So. Hey, is it fun to be with your old friends again after not being with them for a few years? Yeah, it's great. I mean, when we tour, we used to see each other all the time, and now that you know, we stopped touring together, we don't see each other nearly as much. People move away and have careers and families. So yeah, we miss each other, so it's good to hang out again and travel again, and it feels good. Can you explain to the kids real quick like some, what it's like being in a band with people for such a long time, and how it's okay to maybe not be in a band for a while and then come back together, right? Yeah, yeah, being in a band's kind of like a family because you see your friends. I mean, we practice three, three times a week, maybe, and we go on tours and we stay together and we have sleepovers every night, you know, uh, for a oh, month that's on super end. Fun. Yeah, it's really yeah. fun. And then when it stops, it's kind of strange. Pillow fights, you pillow fights. Pillow fights, yes, sometimes. Awesome. And then when we stop touring, you kind of miss your friends. And, you know, it doesn't mean you're not friends anymore. You just don't get to see each other nearly as often. So um, when we started getting ready for these shows again, it was cool to get back in the basement and have, you know, have dinner again together and, you know, go out. Have fun and play, so it's been really fun. It's really fun. That's you know, great. Eight years ago, we had kids dance to one of your records. We did, yeah. And now we'll like be having the kids of those kids dance to one of your records. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully, not eight, eight years later. Yeah, or those kids are in high school now and can drive here, probably. Exactly. Hopefully, they're here and maybe they danced to the city back then. Yay! Right, we're going to dance to your kids. We're going to dance to the same song. to invite our good friends from Philadelphia here at Pitchfork, Son Airways! Hi, what's your name? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Christopher. Oh. Hi, Christopher. Chris. I'm John. I'm Patrick. I think Christopher's hey, oh. beard got stuck in the tree. Let him say his name again. Christopher. Oh, yeah, there hey, so you guys, what's it like being on tour, playing in different cities and festivals? It's so awesome. We get to meet lots of cool people and rats. And rats, Like too. yourself. <laughs> Awesome. It's nice to finally meet you, Ratso. It's great to meet you, too. Right. I met some of your friends before. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. your friends were there in the band The A-Sides. They were on the show they a long time the ago, show. too. That's right. They were so much our friends that they were us. Oh! <laughs> Shh, the suspension of disbelief. So, what was your favorite thing about here at Pitchfork? Uh, I think playing to around 2,000 people was pretty awesome. Whoa, 2,000 <laughs> people? Yeah, and uh, If they each weighed one pound, that would be a ton of people! Yeah. Do, t one ton or two? Two tons? Two tons. Two tons. Two tons. Like two tons. That'd be one ton. That's two tons of fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna work on our math, but it let's move would, on! It would turn into a wonton. That's right, Whoa. wonton or wonton, yay! So, so there's a lot of you, so I'll ask this one question and you can each answer. What do you want to tell the kids? What kind of positive things you want to share with our with our Chicago crew? Uh, play music. It's good for the soul. Good. Good answer. Good answer. Um, have fun and and uh, explore the things you you want to explore and are interested in. Good answer. Good <laughs> answer. Like you, you do a lot of things. You're a photographer too, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a photographer and an artist and do different things. So yeah, don't you know? Explore Ooh. those those other areas that Ooh. you're interested in. Sounds good. How about back here? Love your mom because she ultimately loves you. Ultimately. Oh, good you got all heavy. Good That's answer. good. Ultimately. Ultimately. Good ultimately. Ultimately. How about you, John? Um, I would say to make sure to not only eat candy and cookies like Daniel does. Because you, um, you need to balance it out make with sure some... Make sure not to do that or to yeah, do that? Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do it. It's bad for you. Eat your, eat your vegetables. Eat your veggies. Is that what you think too, Patrick? No, good I answer, think good that answer. you should stay away from negative people 
Because yeah. they'll bring you down. Good answer. Good what if answer. your mom's a negative person? Oh, she ultimately loves you. Is that right? She ultimately loves you, so it doesn't That's matter. Positive. That's hey, positive. Guys, hey, guys. If this was Family Feud and the board had been the top answers of good messages for the kids, you would have won the Family Feud. Yay! They would have won the Family Feud. So, guys, can I ask one last question? Sure, can we dance to a song by Sun Yeah, Let's yeah. do it! Last minute cool. of dancing and it's fun. Are you Pitchfork still with our very, very good friend, the gorgeous Martha Bain. Hi, Martha. Hi, Mia. Hi. And so you have started this phenomenal Chicago institution called Soup and Bread. Can you tell us all about it? I can try. Um, I started doing Soup and Bread three years ago because I was tending bar at the hideout, and I was working on Wednesday afternoons, and it was really boring and slow and cold, and I was lonely. So I tried to figure out how to big bring people into the bar and, you know, get people together in the wintertime to have a good time. And what I came up with was soup. So what we do is we get, every Wednesday in the wintertime, we get six to eight different chefs to contribute pots of soup. I get loaves of bread donated from a local bakery. And then anybody who wants to is welcome to come and eat at the meal. And we take donations. And every week the donations, the monetary donations, go to a different hunger relief agency or food pantry. That's awesome. Hold on a second. I want to do that again. Okay. Let's not mention bartending. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Right. It's yeah. Your, sorry. So, so, no, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, we're going to start from the top. Good point. So how about if we do this in a way that um, I had a night, like, kid, okay. is that okay if we do That's it again? That's fine. That's fine. I totally forgot about the context. No, it's okay. Three, two, one. Hey, we're here with Soup and Bread Mama, our very good friend Martha Bain. Hi. Hi. Hey, so can you tell the kids how you came up with this great idea and what it is? Well, what it is is a free community meal that I came up with because I wanted to create an event where people could just sort of come together in a very casual fashion, hang out and see their friends, and have a good, healthy, nutritious meal. Wow. So, what I, so what I came up with was this uh, free dinner where people contribute pots of soup and loaves of bread from local restaurants and caterers and bakeries. Anybody who wants to can come and eat, and then they give little monetary donations, and all the money that we raise goes to a different food pantry or hunger relief agency every week. That is fantastic, and I understand that you raised $3,000 for the Garfield Conservatory Fund? We did. We did a special event that just a couple weeks ago to raise money to repair the Garfield Park Conservatory, which was damaged in a hailstorm a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so that's so great. This is such a Chicago, and you're such a Chicago person now in this part of your life, and this is a Chicago event but benefiting a Chicago landmark. It's been really gratifying. Yay, high five, Martha Bain. See, kids, you can, soup and bread, who knew? Who knew? Who knew how much people love soup? That's right. And bread. And bread. And bread. Hey, we're still here at Pitchfork, and we have another really cool artist who also uses recycled fabrics to make really cool things. Hi, Hesper. Hi. Hi. Tell us the name of your company. The name of my company is Subversive Seamstress Designs. Subversive Seamstress Designs. This is one of your amazing, beautiful purses. Can you tell the kids, like, Real quick, what it's like to make this, where you get the fabrics from and stuff? Yeah, I get most of my fabrics at the thrift store, and a lot of times they're just curtains or they're tablecloths or somebody's old like jumpsuit from the 70s. And then I cut them apart and make them into bags, whatever I think might be a really cool design. And you do this all by yourself? Yep, I design everything myself. I sew it all myself. I do it all by myself. You see kids DIY, do-it-yourself designs. This is a great way to make a make hobby into an art and maybe a living, right? Indeed. Anything else? No, that's it. Awesome. Thanks so much, Hesper. Thank you.
Checking in from Pitchfork 2011. And we're here with the band Woods. Woods! These are my two friends, Woody yeah. and Woodrow. Wood -like. yeah. Woodrow. What's your name? Jarvis. Hi, Jarvis. I'm G. Lucas. Mm -hmm. Hi, G. Lucas. Hey, G. So, hey, I hear that you're gonna, someone's gonna tell us what kind of music you play. Uh, I think it was me. Well, technically we play rock and roll, but because we've been friends for a long time, it usually winds up being turning into some other kind of music. Like At what some kind point, of music? Uh, well, it could turn into uh, German music, or uh, a bunch of plates falling down the stairs, or uh, sometimes when we play, I do I play a cassette tape of me doing dishes, but Whoa, it's, but it's also rock and roll. So there's basically a lot of dishes and dishwashing involved in your band. I'm a very heavy dishes-minded person. I love doing the dishes. I think not doing the dishes breaks up. Uh, uh, friendships and and houses when you when you like live with people y you should all do the the dishes please do that, the dishes that's why me and my friends just eat out of the garbage can you don't have to deal with dishes at all I know but I did that for years did you, eat out of you the did that for years the garbage for years I know but that's, that's my man I didn't grow an inch <laughs> that sets up so many other problems though well, like how would you what, what do you do for utensils? Do you just use the little knives that come out snout. of your paws? You what? Snouts. You just use your snout. You, uh, root, you root through the garbage with your snout, are, and then you eat it. Are rat snouts prehensile? Do you, do, what, what happens? Do, no? It's a, it, no, you, you just kind of, you find a way. You that, find a way. It's like a shovel. Your, your snout's like a shovel. Yeah. You, a you shovel and do, a man. Anything's yeah. possible. Believe in yourself. That's right. You know, that kind of sounds like a positive message for the kids. Like yeah. you said, you kind of, what are your messages for the kids? Don't give up. Eat That's that cool. garbage whether you have a prehensile nose or not. And, and make weird And music. I don't, you know. So I've never given up on eating garbage. It gave up on me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry okay, to hear that. Okay, I'll buy that. And what's your positive message? My positive, my positive message is do what with with what you have. Do Whoa. what with with what you have. Whoa. Whatever you have, do you have. what with with what you have. So whatever you have at any given second, please do what you with with it. That wow. sounds really cool. Hey, hey I, got a, I got something I want to ask him. What's that? Rats over here, and I'm here with my friends from the band Woods. I want to ask if you guys can remember the first time you ever played music or did a show of any kind. The first time you ever were on stage in front of people. Yeah, the first time. Me and my cousin at her family's house okay. wrote a musical. Ooh. And it was so long ago, I can't remember the name of the musical. But it was a whole we, musical? Uh-huh. About 45 minutes. Whoa! And who would you perform in front of? My aunt, my uncle, my parents. What was it about? It was about um, life in New York. Wow, that sounds like hard knocks, did yo. You, did you have costumes? We had one costume change, uh, mainly macaroni and plates. Oh, more plates? Uh, paper plates, oh. you know. From parties. <laughs> How about you? Uh, my first time on stage was auspicious. I, um, let's see, what happened? Okay, I was in high school and I joined the drama club uh, because I was interested in doing something, things like that. And uh, at the end of the year, we were supposed to do Pinball Wizard uh, by oh, The Who. Oh, that's awesome! And, uh, but before I did that, I, I did a talent show. And uh, that was the first time I was ever on stage. And my talent was playing the bagpipes on my throat. And it was in it was in when I was can, in high school. Can you still do that? Yeah, I do have. It, do it. You gotta do it. You can't say it, not do you it. Can't I say know, it. I know, I knew when I had to tell the story I would have to do it. Do it. Okay. okay, it goes like this. It's like <laughs> So anyway I did that. Wow really not that incredible. Uh, uh, I was also uh, on a, on a, um, a soon-to-be-canceled MTV pilot uh, in the early 90s, doing exactly what I just did, so watch out. Uh, it was before the internet, so... Wow, wait, wait, wait that's exciting. Well, hey... Wait, 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 what, is, what does the bagpipes have to do with Pinball Wizard? Oh, I forgot that part of the story. So anyway, I did that on stage. I played the bagpipes on my throat for the talent show, and everybody loved us. And then my friend hit me with a pie... After, when our set was done, okay. and I was kind of like, I was kind of uh, freaked out, and I didn't go back on stage for a long time. But then I played uh, in Pinball Wizard, 
and I can't remember which character I was. You but were probably I, Tina Turner. No, I wasn't. But I remember, um, I remember one of my lines. I don't remember anything about it. I swear, I don't. What? What? Anything. All right. What was your line? Only, the only line. What's I remember, the line? Uh, I have to give someone a massage to do it. Can I get? I, I have to. I give it to you. me. Give it to me. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I, Ooh. You're real tense, babe. Ooh. That was the only line I remember. Awesome. Yay. Hey guys, I have a question. Can we dance in the studio to Woods? Would that be okay with you guys? Definitely. Yeah. All right, Please guys. Do. Let's dance to Woods! Yay! Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yay. Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you guys. Pitchfork is so much fun this year. Oh my gosh, I really think this was one of the best years ever. And that's hard to say because every year is awesome here at Pitchfork in Chicago, USA, Illinois. Yeah, we live in the best city and you get to hear the best music. We and hope you guys had fun watching. Yeah, and I hope that you kids at home got inspired by some of the great messages by all these bands. Everything from floss to listen to your mom to eat your vegetables. And remember, this is all about music. If you love playing music, keep playing. That's right. And guys... Maybe you could be rock and rollers too and play a pitchfork someday. That's right. And when he says guys, you mean guys and girls. I meant guys in the, you know, everybody world. Everybody. Rats, chickens. Rats, chickens. I mean, everybody. Don't forget the pigs. They pigs. get left out. Hey, let's dance to some more great music from some of the artists here. That's right. Pitchfork 2011. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Show you some.